we begin this evening, I ask that you please rise as Junior Jared Strecker leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Study Spanish, volunteer at a hospital, write a book, 
or do whatever it is that you want to do. So good luck to all members, whether new or those graduating with me in June. If you'll use anything that I said tonight, then you have instilled this pillar of scholarship. So hope you all find what you're passionate about and may you never stop learning. Thank you.
of one small effort to give back can be. Likewise, as leaders of the community, I'm confident you've come to learn just how powerful your dedication to service truly is. As you witness the smiling faces or hear a note of gratitude from the ones you've helped, you'll understand the genuine change you can make in the lives of those around you. As servers of the community, you've been able to hone your leadership skills and teach those around you what you've gathered along the way. As you continue through high school, you'll be able to inspire your peers to take action just as you have your entire lives. By answering the call to lead, you summon the courage to engage and develop the heart to serve. Today marks the day that we honor your devotion to spreading positivity throughout our community. Today marks the day that we celebrate your desire to contribute to a better world, a world you yourself foster. I commend you for your unwavering dedication to a life of service, a life defined by your compassion, motivation, and willingness to give back.
Ms. Richard called your name. Uh, we will you'll come around, you'll receive your pin that you can wear at graduation. I would like to begin by thanking our senior leaders for those words of wisdom and, and the advice to the new inductees. Um, for the last year, you have been models of good character and academics and citizenship here at Hampton Beach High School as members of the National Honor Society. And tonight, uh, when you walk across the stage and you greet Mr. Ohan and Mr. Clemson, you're going to receive your pins. And this is a lifelong memento of a very prestigious accomplishment. And uh, please know that on behalf of everyone here at Hampton Bay's High School um, and the Hampton Bay's community, that we're incredibly proud of all of you. And um, I'm looking forward to celebrating all of your accomplishments uh, for the next couple of months before uh, we land the commencement. It's going to happen quick. So uh, again, congratulations, um, and uh, let's begin the awarding. Okay, um, first row, Sasha Andrews.
would like to publicly thank our committee members for their service, their hard work, and efforts to bring us here this evening, welcoming new students that have exemplified the pillars in which this organization was founded. To our new inductees, I'm certain you understand the gravity of this induction ceremony, as you have demonstrated excellence as civic-minded students and community members. So I will not deliver a long speech about the importance of the pillars. Instead, I will hand you a membership card, which is a reminder and a responsibility to continue the work you began here at Hampton Bays for the rest of your lives. Your scholarship, service, leadership, and character are critical to our future. We will look to you to solve the problems of the world, and we are certainly going to leave you a good pile of things to fix. Mr. Clemenson often reminds me that perfection is not the enemy of change. You may not solve global warming, but reversing some of its effects will be a pretty good start. But if you fix our broken healthcare system, bring about world peace, and drive down property taxes, I can promise you one thing. New problems will surface that will require your ingenuity and your leadership. Congratulations on this very important achievement. I am proud of your accomplishments and look forward to being part of your future success. Thank you. At this time, I would like to invite our superintendent of schools, Mr. Lars Clemens, back to the podium for a few remarks. Good evening. Congratulations to each of you sitting in the audience. You're sitting there proudly, and in the dark, we can sense that pride still, because the people, the young men and young women on this stage are really just fantastic. And I congratulate new inductees tonight, and those of you who sat on that side of the stage last year as you make your way closer and closer to the commencement tent. Uh, I congratulate the seniors as well. I bring the good wishes of our entire school district. Board of Education and Leadership Team, and the entire faculty and staff at the Hampton Bay Schools. This is a great time of the year. Aside from the weather that we're experiencing right now, it really is the start of something special. It's the start of our annual celebrations. We're almost done with the school year. It's the time to start showcasing what our students have done and intend to do as the school year winds down. Whether the hills are alive on this stage, or whether the crack of the bat uh, is heard down Argonne Road on the field, or our AP students are furiously doing Ms. McCauley's reading and catching up, and our science researchers are preparing for next week's symposium, the building is a buzz. And the fact that we have these young men and women sitting here for a captive period of time is, a, is no small feat because they're the busiest of the busy. It's a positive time because it's a chance to showcase who each of you are. But tonight's a slightly different kind of positive because we're not celebrating a win against Southampton or a well-rehearsed musical or even a year's worth of learning AP curriculum. We're recognizing that this is the lifetime of, this is a lifetime of construction. It's a careful 16, 17 years of construction. Brick by brick, experience by experience, class by class, service opportunity by service opportunity. It's those bricks that have gotten these young men and women on this stage tonight. And the themes haven't changed. The activities changed. But these are the kids who at Hampton Bay's Elementary School were caught being good Remember that? Or caught being healthy, or joined the OWL Club, the Organization of Willing Leaders in Middle School, or helped walk for breast cancer, or raised money for this or that, brought their classes together, prioritized their learning, prioritized their service. The theme never changed. The activities changed from here to now here as seniors. And so this is a point in time where we get to reflect, but it's also a great night of potential because this side of the stage is about to leave us, we're about to say goodbye, and this side of the stage is about to take the torch as the seniors, the models, and the leaders in our school district. It's an honor that was not given. It was truly an honor that was earned, and I hope you know that, and I hope you all know that as well. Tonight, our 11 fantastic inductees are joining us in the premier the premier honorary organization around the world. As Mr. Richard said, it's been in our nation since 1921, and the cast 
Uh, this group joins a, a list of inductees uh, that have made revolutionary changes to our world. We're proud of the responsibility that you've taken. It's not just about honor. It's not just about service, but you take responsibility. And you take on those selfless acts of kindness and character that Colette mentioned. And as proud as we are tonight, as much as all of us beam for what you've done, we look ahead to what you're going to do after tonight. And not just after commencement, what you're going to do tomorrow, what you're going to do on Saturday and next week. We look forward to seeing what you do at the micro level every single day. And then like Mr. Richard said, how you will make an impact on our community and our world. Tonight's a celebration of your tremendous work, of your accomplishment, but more importantly, as I mentioned, of your potential. That promise that you make tonight, inductees, you're going to say an oath in a few minutes, it's needed now more than it's ever been needed. We need you more than ever to be solutions oriented, to be collaborative, to bring the chaos that we see in our society and that angst in our society and the challenges we see. We need you to put that in its place, solve some problems, and do some good in the world. You'll fix the problems that us adults have given you. And again, that's why you're on this stage. You're going to use your powers for good to continue building your character, to grow as a servant leader, to become a superior citizen, and as Sydney said, to continue learning, to keep learning, and to push your minds to grow. There's no doubt in my mind, moms and dads and family members, that on this stage tonight we have statesmen and stateswomen, thespians who will tell the stories and give performances that enrich our society and preserve our, our culture. We have doctors and researchers that will bring new methods of health and healing to our world. Businessmen and women who will fairly run businesses that add value to our lives and our world. And teachers who will take the torch from those who have helped get them to this stage tonight. And so many more impactful roles that these men and women will play in our community. I close tonight as I started with the very proud congratulations and wishes to everyone here on behalf of the school district. Mr. Richard said this, the next two months will go fast, they will, and it's time to acknowledge that, enjoy it, study, and, and show us what you know, show us what you can do. We extend all the pride to our families. We know that it takes a community, and we can't do it without you, and we hope that you have found that our school district has done the same for your family. Thank you to Ms. Drohan, our National Honor Society advisor. A lot of things take place behind the scenes to get us to tonight. And thank you, Ms. Drohan, and your faculty council for facilitating the selection process, and for Mr. Richard and Mr. Ferraro for giving you opportunities that you all jumped in uh, feet first to take advantage of. Congratulations, congratulations, seniors, on this wonderful achievement. Thank you.
teacher, Mrs. Martinez, as a role model because of her outstanding support and encouragement through her high school journey. Mrs. Martinez demonstrates that all your goals and dreams can be achieved with hard work, determination, and perseverance. Melanie hopes to utilize all the skills she learned from all her educators to keep gaining knowledge and to strive for success. Patricio Puglia. she made to provide a better life inspires him to work as hard as she did. <laughs> Haley Troyan. Being the youngest of her family, Haley has always looked up to both of her two older siblings. She considers her older brother, Tanner Troyan, who's a former NHS member uh, from Hampton Bays, an important role model in her life. Haley's brother is currently attending Virginia Tech, majoring in mechanical engineering. She admires him for staying social with friends and active in sports, while also involving himself in multiple internships and maintaining good grades. As Haley prepares to move forward to the next chapter in her life with entering college, she aspires to follow in, follow in her brother's footsteps. Riley Tupper. her older sister. Ever since Riley was little, she has looked up to her older sister. Riley wants to follow in her sister's footsteps by doing well in high school and going off to college. Riley has seen her sister achieve great things, and this has inspired her to work hard, give her everything her all, and be the best version of herself. Mr. 
Bouchard to come up to lead students in the Pledge of New Members. Okay, will our new inductees please stand? I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society. To which I have been selected. To which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. And will maintain and encourage. And will maintain and encourage. The high standards. The high standards. Of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Congratulations. Thank you. 